Good morning. So uh, yesterday I started on um, making a quick static site for Snippet Pixie next, um, as I need to move it off of its current hosting. Um, and I'm just creating a sort of uh, under construction site, but with SvelteKit. Um, and I've got it to the point where um, it's building and we've got a very basic site. Um, but now I need to actually host it somewhere. Um, and I think I'm going to use Source Hut Pages, uh, which is where, because I'm already using Source Hut for uh, the Git source for the next version of Snippy Bixie. So um, let's uh, review what we've got so far, um, and then we'll uh, hopefully get this thing up and on a actual site. So, right, so we have a new site directory here. Um, <clears throat> and then it um, is a uh, SvelteKit um, app. Um, it has very basic HTML, which basically says put the content here and also sets a head as well. Which I should probably check actually. Um, I should probably get a title. That's a good point. So I don't know where where I need to set that. Um, I'll have to check that in a minute. I presume it doesn't do it here, does it? Hmm, I might check that, see whether these actually are pulled in or not. Or whether it's the... No, it won't be felt. Maybe in kit. I don't know. I'll have to check that in a sec. Um, so yeah, there's something that's probably needs working on. Um, and then we've got a very simple route, um, which has a page, which just has some very basic content saying, mm, this is under construction, go pick up Snipper Pixie somewhere else. Um, and some light um, styling. And then a layout, uh, which basically just says, yeah, go stick the stuff here. Um, and then it does the flex thing. So when we look at it, um, let's go here. I should be able to just do an npm run dev. That's not right. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Let's get into the right place anyway. So, npm run dev. And if I go here, this is the basic site. Um, and I think I need to sort out these things are not quite right. They're a little bit elongated and weird. Um, I wonder, let's... What can I do here? Maybe if I change the font family. Oh, that's better. A lot tighter. That would do. And I probably Shouldn't really push it off with the margin. Oops. Didn't mean that. Can I do this? Oh.
don't do Atra. Okay. Just wondering whether it's just slight, it just feels slightly off. Now it's actually better with a margin. Okay. I think that's probably a bit better. Because now things will be a little bit more centered up. Okay, so I just need to put a bit of margin, negative margin to bring this back and I make that mono. Yeah. Okay. Let's take that. Um, so we're just doing this in here. Is this supposed to be monospace? Hmm. Okay. This is very specific to this page. Um, so it's fine. It's not going to bleed out to anywhere else. It's just what we're doing in this one page. And that's it all there. That's fine. That oh, it's got smaller there. Makes no difference, okay, that's fine. All right, yeah, we'll keep that then. Uh, just centers things up a little bit. That's maybe a little bit too far. doesn't want to change. Interesting. Weird. I 
Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's why. <sighs> okay, to the wrong place. Should have done that with the animal at least. All right. That's not where I wanted to do it on the LI. Let's try this. Just so make sure the CSS is all sorted there. It's fine. I do. Okay, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's only a placeholder. Okay, all uh, right. Quickly fix that up. Okay, right, so <clears throat> let's get this up and running somewhere. Um, so what we should have is in here, this is probably in the build directory. It's probably got old stuff in it because I haven't done any changes since. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to check that. Don't know if it builds it. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, this is all very up there. I haven't got any of my stuff in it. Let's make sure it's refreshed. Yeah. Okay, so I should be able to I kill this off. And just run npm run build. And that's in theory updated all those things. There it has. So we've now got image and CSS. It's pulling in some custom CSS. It's got my HTML in there with decorated with unique class names. That's why we can have scoped CSS. Um, and then we've got the images in there. CSS, which looks basically as was. That's good. Um, and then the meat is in here things like components 
all kinds of stuff I don't really need to look at, but that's what we actually get compiled to. Um, so anyway, I need to deploy this build directory effectively. Um, and the index HTML will take care of loading everything. Um, I hope. One thing about um, source up pages is it has a very restricted access. Um, so it may not work and I may need to do it some, may need to um, host it somewhere else, but it only allows certain things. And I don't know whether this content security policy thing here is going to cause issues. It's interesting it hasn't got any content. That might be an issue. Uh, oh, we haven't got a title. I need to sort that out. Okay, uh, right, I need docs for that. I don't know why we don't have a title. Uh, it's a kit, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, interesting. How am I going to find stuff? Oh, I'm on the before begin. Quick check of um, Svelte Kit Head and Svelte Kit Body. That's what I'm looking for to see how I populate that. And I can't see anything obvious about. Um, it's not going to be options. No. Thing in there. Yeah. 
configuration. Do I just need to do Svelte Properties stuff? Okay, I'm very confused. Why can't I just... Where's... Oh, it's kind of nuts. No, that's all I wanted. Very confused right now why I can't set.
I mean, I could just like put it in the title, but I really would rather. Maybe that's what I should do. Let's, um, okay. I know that I can use this stuff. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, maybe. Let's have a quick go. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll do a default one, I guess. Presumably you can override it. Let's try. Okay, so that worked. Interesting. So setting the title that way works. If I want to override it on a per page basis, this, um, I'm assuming that there's actually a better way of doing this, but Oops. Do this. Hmm, interesting. It does work. And yeah, that's actually quite handy. Okay. Uh, right, well, we'll do that for now because I haven't got much time to muck about things, but. It's something to think about. I wonder though, whether um, I wonder whether the data stuff, because each page can have data come in. I suppose I could pull that in to the head if I wanted to change that on a per page basis. in a more programmatic way. But I'm not unlikely to need that, I suppose. So it's probably quite good as is. Okay, um, right. Okay, let's get this sorted. Um, Type 
title to site. Okay, now we start building things. Um, So, we've got two build targets here. We've got Ubuntu LTS. Which runs an install, build, test, um, and kind of like a dummy package set up as well and creates an artifact. And then I've got on state uh, Nexos unstable, which at the moment all it needs to do is a build and test. It doesn't need to do any install um, because it uses Nix shell under the hood, which is pretty good. It might be interesting. What do I do on my site? Can't remember. Okay. Think. There's a few things I could steal from there. First of all, Yeah, I'm not going to have a curl available, am I? That's going to be a pain. I think that's a custom thing that comes with the image. Okay, what we'll do Not 
take them bit by bit and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I should just double check actually. It's not something that's packaged. No. Okay. Might be okay. Hmm. All right, we'll see. All right. Let's quickly get this sorted if I can. Oh, interesting. I've updated this. It is now using heart. Is that available? I need to have a hot key for that thing. Oh. How recent is that? So this was last updated 31st of July. And source heart is at well, the last major release was zero point two, so it may be up to scratch. That's quite good. Okay. Right, let's mm. that's new, okay. Let's do this then. I will do that. Uh, how, what order do I normally do it? Packages straight after it off. Okay. 
make sure that's clean. Yeah. Um, and I will do this. But our site is going to be snippet pixie.org for the moment anyway. Might change. Um, all right, so actually I should probably get that domain fixed up. So at the moment, this is what it is. It's just my, my site basically. Um, and it's on fly. Um, but I want to put it to this address, which is where source hut is. Source hut page is anyway. So I've got an hours TTL. Hopefully that's not going to come into play. Um, so I'm going to update that IP address. It doesn't do IPv6, I believe, source hut. So we're going to drop that. Um, we'll leave subdomains pointing to the main, but don't use them, but that's fine. Okay. Now, uh, back on my actual site, I'll just quickly search, remove snippet pixie Okay, so that should sort things out and fly. And then in the meantime, this should probably die now. Yep, not happy. Good. That's what we want. Um, so we've got the custom domain pointing to that. So we're good there. And we're in automation mode. Okay, got site, uh, I need to package, and then upload. That's quite neat, that. So we will grab both of those. This is where it might get a bit tricky, actually. But we will see. So at the moment, uh, no, it might work, it might work. Okay, so at the moment we've got a build and a test of Snippet Pixie itself. I also want to package the site. Uh, actually, should I call it a build? 
Hmm. Upload the site. Uh, so we are not doing that. What we are doing is CD snippet pixie site. So that gets us into the directory. Um, and then The only thing is going to get fun. Because we're going to want to run some next shell things to do NPM stuff. I will, I think, at some point want to do a make file here. Just to make it like a one shot. Um, but for the time being, um, we're going to want to do npm install. and pm run build hopefully i can do that in one line on next shell uh why did i do that there all right it's just new isn't it so it's fine it's great So, next shell pure run npm install npm run build and then I need to do a contents thing. So I need to do something like I do, I should do in here, do I not? Yeah. I do a minus C. Basically, I go into the directory I need and then package it up at the top level. So I will do minus C. build that should be enough i think yeah and then i just need to go back two places because i've gone in two places so that puts it back into the root before i did the cd and then in the upload site, we'll have that available here to do that. And for good measure, let's add a sending me an email. Just for fun. It's quite useful having that. All right. So let's just double check. In my site, I have OAuth environment secrets, but because I'm using HUT, I don't think I need that anymore. I think that was more for some other stuff I'm doing. So that'd be interesting. I might be able to take that away from here. Well, at least one of them. Um, J 
triggers, uploads, blah, blah, blah. Didn't need to do any other packages other than hot. Hmm. We'll see. It's worth a test, isn't it? Let's do it. Add site build and upload to source. Ages. Give me a push and pray. Uh, I'm not going to have time to double check it all works though. What's the bit? I've done something wrong here. Hmm. We will see. You oh, failed straight away. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's missing Nixos <laughs> in the package definitions. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh. Right. I thought it was a bit inter strange. It was failing straight away. Fix uh, to that package in Nexus build. Okay. Okay. Well, we will see. Now that I've got other things running, though, it might be a little bit slower. All right, it's installing hot. All right, these builds, I should have probably put it first. <laughs> um, then I could have seen, because these builds of uh, Snippet Pixie itself do take a little while, because it has to grab all the um, all the packages for the dependencies, plus then build with all the Go dependencies and all that kind of stuff, which includes... Um, a bunch of seagull stuff once it gets to the GUI, so 
and then it does it for tests and so on so it's going to take a little while um how long does it normally take That's the last one. Seven minutes. It's quite a while. I probably should uh, see about reducing that time. I don't know how. But. In a couple of minutes. Right. Give it a couple of minutes and then I'll, I'll just wait for this to finish. All right, I can't see that there's any problems. The only thing I am worried about is whether this Nick Shell thing is going to work. Um, we will see. But after that, hopefully, all well, this is okay. How did the uh, other one go? Right, so the Ubuntu one. So much quicker because it doesn't have to install so much. Five minutes. All right, a couple of minutes quicker than Yeah, so that should be fairly close to finishing then. Yeah. Okay, so the Ubuntu one finished okay. So nothing changed in there that could cause problems. We're still doing the build. The thing though is, once you do that, it's grabbed all the dependencies. So the tests um, run a lot quicker. It's the fact that it has to build the world effectively. That's the issue. There we go. Shouldn't be too long now, then it'll start streaming through the rest.
So it's already just doing the test straight away without having to build the world because it's already got all the dependencies. It's a lot quicker. And then we should get into the new stuff and we'll see whether that actually works. I probably should have just commented out the other two. Yeah. No oh, interest in. Ha. Huh. Right. Hmm. Okay. Well, that means I, I know what I need to do there then. So, the easiest thing for me to do would be to just create a make file and then just cd into snippet pixie only. Um, and then just do um, let them make. Let this whole build phase actually make the site along with the package, uh, the actual binaries. Um, and then for the packaging, all I would need to do then is just tar up the contents of snippet pixie site build with my C, my capital C. Otherwise, because I don't really want to. I mean, I suppose in there I could actually probably just reference the default, um, like the shell.next that's in effectively in here. Okay, right. Well, I've got to go. Um, I'll get on with my day. Um, so I'll have a play with that uh, next time, I guess. Or if not, a little bit later, maybe for lunch. Um, but in the meantime, um, thanks for watching and uh, until next time, take care.